Assalamualaikum, my name is Nurul Shafina Sipinti Ahmad Zakimi. My metric number is 10DPM20 F2057. Hanim employs Tina, a property agent, to sell her house for 400,000 ringgit. Tina subsequently finds a buyer and sells Hanim's house for 413,000 ringgit. Tina told Hanim that she sold her house for 400,000 ringgit. After two weeks, Hanim found out about the extra profit gain by Tina. Hanim felt that she had been cheated by Tina. The question illustrates that Tina is an agent for Hanim. Then Hanim asked Tina to sell her house at 413,000 ringgit. Tina sold that house at the same price but she lied to Hanim that she sold her house for 400,000 ringgit. At the moment, Hanim believed it but after two weeks, Hanim got to know that Tina sold at the same price as Hanim told but the balance 13,000 ringgit Tina keep to her. Express and issues arise in the above situation. Can Hanim claim the secret profit made by Tina? It is because Tina makes secret profit. Secret profit is when principal asks the agent to sell property in a price and the agent manages to sell at the state price. But the agent told principal that he sell at lower prices and the balance amount he keep to him. Therefore, as take one of their action can be taken by principal if agent makes secret profit is to recover the extra amount taken by agent as secret profit. Justify the relevant provision under contract at 1915. According to section 169 of the Contracts Act of 1915, if the agent interests in the agency commercial enterprise for his own account and not on behalf of his client, the principal reserves the right to get back any advantages that may also arise from the transaction from the agent. What is meant by Section 169 Contract Act of 1915 is if agent do the agency business on his account and on the principal account without the knowledge of the principal, the principal can recover the extra money that comes from the transaction. Based on the situation given, Tina took the extra money without knowledge of Hanim and Hanim only know about it after two weeks. Hence, this provision is suitable for this situation. Assalamualaikum to Dr. Rohani. I am Nusha Zainal Binti Rahim and my matrix number is 10 dpm 20f2041. Today, I will be presenting for the sub-question number 3 and 4. Question for number 3. Share one relative case to support your answer. The case of Tan Kiong Hua against Andrew S. H. Chong were chosen. The facts. Plaintiff purchased an apartment for a corporation. He then hired the accused, who was the managing director of a real estate agency, to resell the apartment for RM45,000. The flat property was successfully sold by the agency for RM54,000. The agent, on the other hand, deposited an extra RM9,000 into the account of his company without informing the principal. When the plaintiff learned of the excess profit of RM9,000 credited to the agent's company account, he was dissatisfied with the agent. He sued the agent for breach of contract and extra RM9,000 alleging that he made a covert profit for the principal's property. The help is the principal was allowed to claim an additional RM9,000 from the accused of violating his duties. For further explanation, the plaintiff bought an apartment from a company. Then, he employs the defendant that is manager director of a property company to sell the apartment for RM45,000. Then, the defendant managed to sell it for RM54,000 but he take the extra money which is RM9,000 and credited to his company's account and not to the principal account without his knowledge. Later on, the principal which is a plaintiff know about the extra profit great gain by the agent and he feels dissatisfied with it. Therefore, the principal take an action to sue the agent for violating the contract by making profit on the principal's property. The court decision is the principal can claim the extra amount of an RM9000 from the accused of violating his agent duties. Hence, 
This case is same as the situation given, where the agent makes secret profit, but the difference is Tina credited the extra money to her account, but in this case, the agent credited the, in his company's account. Therefore, this is the best case to support the answers. The next question is propose a suitable conclusion to the above issue. Hanim can claim the secret profit made by Tina in accordance of the case Tan Kiong Hua against Andrew S. H. Chong because Tina has violated her agent's responsibility to her principal, which is Hanim, which includes the duty not to profit secretly from the discharge of her duties and she has breached the contract. It is because, as an agent, Tina do not have the right to make secret profit unless the principal knows about it according to other section which is section 168, Seals of Good Act 1957. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurin Ismaani binti Isaham. My matrix number 10 DPM 20F 2023. Azhar, who is the owner of a biscuits manufacturing company, had always ordered swan type in quality from the dealer. The further floor was ordered the same floor as previously contract. Azahar was surprised when the biscuits baked by his employee was not up to the quality as previously baked biscuits. After a brief investigation, Azahar found out the floor supply did not meet the quality as the usual brand, advised Azahar under Sales of Goods Act 1957. The question for number one is describe an issues arises in the above situation. The answer is can Azahar sue the dealer for do delivering the same quality flaw as the sample? This question illustrates that Azahar is a owner of a biscuit manufacturing company. He always orders one type A quality flaw from a dealer. One day, he ordered more flour and directed it to be same as the previously contract. Then, the dealer delivered the orders to him and his employee used it to bake biscuits. But suddenly, the quality of the biscuits is not same as the previously baked biscuits. He made some investigation and get to know that the dealer delivered the flour that not the same quality as the usual brand. Second question is express a suitable provision of Goods Act 1957 and the answer is according to section 17 2A of the Sale of Goods Act 1957, a contract for sale through samples have the implied condition that large quantities must comply with the quality with samples. It is because Azahar have directed the dealer to make the order same as the previously contract, but it was not the same as the sample. Sample is used to describe the goods to buyer. Azahar described that he want the new order's flaw to be the same as previously. Therefore, the action can be taken by Azahar is to sue the dealer. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Adeline Is Farhida Benti Abdul Rahim. My metric number is 10 DPM 20F2047. The uh, next question is explain a suitable case law. Case Nyakudas Poshatumdas and Co vs. Mitsubishi Sankai Ltd. 1911. Facts Precinct agreement for the sale of goods such as flour was sold in bag with a familiar brand. Following that, more flour was ordered based on a description that was comparable to the past contract. Flour of the same quality was given but it lacked the familiar brand. Help, the flaws do not meet the description. In the case of Nagurdas, Poshantadas and Co vs. Mitsu Busen Kaisha LTD 1911, a previous contact between the parties for the sale of flour was sold in back during a well-known trademark. For the flour was ordered, description described as same as our previous contract. A similar quality flow has been shipped out but it does not have the same well-known trademark. It is considered non-compliant with the descriptions. Therefore, I believe that this is the suitable case law based on the issues on my question. The last question. Purpose a suitable conclusion to the above issues. 
Azaha Kensu, the dealer for not delivering the same quality floor as the sample in accordance of the case of Nangurdas Posho Tumdas and Co versus Mitsubu Sen Kaisha Ltd 1911 because Azaha need to bear the loss when the biscuit baked by his employee was not the same quality as the previous biscuit as the previous biscuit they are sold. As my explanations, it is because as a dealer must be honest in dealing with the sale and purchases. That is, the sale and purchase must be in accordance with the condition of a large quantity that must be meet the quality with the sample.